Welcome back. So I have been gone for a little bit. I've had a lot going on since my last video. So I'm sorry there's been a gap of time where I haven't been posting anything or um, yeah, had a lot of stuff going on. I have been sick, a family member was sick and um, so we were just trying to kind of get through that and um, Hopefully everything's on the upside now. Oh, and I'm getting ready to move. So <laughs> my my apartment has kind of been uh, crazy. Um, yeah, so there's been a lot happening, but I wanted to sit down today and film this um, because I got from someone that I trust um, some hand-me-down makeup that she got in like her boxy charm boxes um, stuff that she has just purchased on her own and she opened it didn't really ever use it or just swatched it and decided it went in a drawer so this is like a hand-me-down um, product video um, I'm not really gonna test them I might swatch a little bit on my arms um, but um, I will use them in future videos which I'm so excited about because they're so much here to work with um, and let me say this if you're getting makeup from somebody hopefully it's somebody that you trust and that you know well don't take makeup that's been opened or swatched or whatever from someone that you don't know or don't trust please don't because just just don't I accepted this stuff because it's 99% eyeshadows um, there's some blushes in there some uh, powder contour um, there's one liquid um, item, but it's never been used. So um, don't take something from somebody that you don't trust. If you if you feel uncomfortable saying no, you know, take it and then maybe think about not using it. So um, that's the only reason I, I wanted to say that because I don't want you to put something on your face and it hurts your skin or hurts you um, or causes an issue. So um, I have already used some of this um, since I got it just several days ago um, and it's totally fine. So I wanted to, I wanted to throw that disclaimer in there. Um, the first thing I'll show you is um, Butter London. Um, it's a eyeshadow palette and it's the natural goddess collection hopefully you can see that well um we've got like a really pretty deep teal tealish green i guess you would call that um obviously very garden inspired hence the the packaging um she swatched some of these i have even swatched them um so yeah um very very pretty and I've never used Butter by London, Butter London products, so a lot of these I've never used their products before, so I'm really excited to try them. Um, let's see. I hope I don't butcher this name. Alomar um, Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. Some of these, a lot of these still have plastic in them. Um, yes, very summery, very oceany. Um, obviously, by the names of of the colors, Castaway, Parisio, Scorcher, I mean, they're super pretty. This one, I swatched, it's gorgeous, so I'm super excited to try that. Even though it's getting to be fall here in the great state of Missouri, but it's so hot. <laughs> Obviously. Um, our next one is the Nubian by Juvia's, and I feel like this might, I hope I'm not wrong, but is this a newer brand? new-ish or maybe just new to the scene brand um she swatched it these are untouched we swatched a couple of them but super nude like burgundies pinks my comfort zone we know i have a comfort zone people and this is it um pressed pigments 
um, are for three of them, and then there are three just eyeshadows. So one, two, and six. One, two, and six, and then these are eyeshadows. So yes for pressed pigment. We love a pressed pigment, people. Um, this one is Cover FX. It's a little dirty because it was in one of her drawers, but that's okay. I trust her. But as you can see, it's never been used. I mean, let's be honest, all my stuff gets dirty if it's in a drawer and I've never opened it. So this is just a basically contour highlight, finishing powder blush, your, your basic face set. Um, the Perfector Face Palette is what it's called. And I don't know if they still make these, um, this particular palette, but if I like it, I haven't used it yet, but I'm hoping I like it because um, that contour is super pretty. And it's not, it's nothing crazy. It's got a little sparkle in it, so that might be for like a special occasion night out. Um, this one is the P Pure Festival Palette, and I am obsessed with this palette. Okay, I mean, really? It's so pretty. Um, that purple will actually go with a purple in one of my, uh, my one of my palettes that I have. Um, that's a matte purple in that shade, so I'm so excited. Um, but this is like pure glitter. Put it over that contour. I mean, that's pure glitter. That's so cool. Um, it's, and they're all pressed pigments, which snaps for pressed pigments, people. You know how we love those. Um, again, a lot of nudes, so it's definitely in my hair. I just put glitter in my hair. Um, and all of these have really good mirrors, I've noticed. All of these palettes have great mirrors. I think except for, except for the, the my little green one here, but that's okay. That's okay. I still like it. This one is, the, I love this packaging. It's very um, romantic, fairy tale, storybook styled. Um, Pretty Birdie by Pretty Vulgar. Um, eyeshadow palette. Um, it says brace your beautiful contradictions on the back. I just think it's so cute. Um, of course, you get a cute little mirror and then these colors are very romantic. You could do a really pretty smoky eye with this. Um, definitely a lot of colors in here that I would never normally choose but when you get something it gives you a chance to try it without spending money. And if I do like it, well, then you know what? I can go out and find some other colors. So, but all the palettes are full. So I think it's gonna be a while. So that one's super pretty. I'm very excited. And it has a matching one, sort of matching one. It's along the same style. Nightingale, and I'm hooked on this. Um, eyeshadow palette by the same brand, pretty vulgar. Um, it says the same thing on the back. Um, again, dark nudes really pretty smoky eye. You got your black here, your dark, dark blue. Um, I used this as a transition shade, hide and seek, and it was super pretty on. Of course, it's a transition shade, but it blended out well. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And again, it's very storybook, fairy tale inspired, which is super cute. I think those pair well together. I, I'd like to see if there's more in that uh, because it's just really pretty. Um, this is the Urban Decay. <laughs> I love Urban Decay. Not sponsored, but Urban Decay, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, <laughs> hashtag no shame. Um, this is the Back Talk um, Eye and Face Palette. And so when you open it up, how can I do this? It's got. <laughs> Um, blushes and like a shimmery, those are pretty shimmery. Um, and this mirror is magnetic, it comes out, which is super cool. And then we have eyeshadows, which is very reminiscent of the Cherry Urban Decay palette. Um, so yeah, there's that one. These are very like sexy names, like three sheets, bare, curved, back talk, shade, attitude. WTF 180. I like that. Those are cute. Um, and the mirror is magnetic and it just pops right in there and 
you're good to go. So that's that one. Um, I have this and I used it yesterday for work and it was so pretty. It's the Disney Villains ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter and it's the Maleficent Mistress of All Evil. Um, which I believe is the name of the next Maleficent movie, Mistress of All Evil, which will be coming out soon. I saw a preview for it. Um, but how freaking pretty is that? I mean, I mean, she just, you can't really see it on my hand, but, um, with all my lights, but she's very pretty. I'm trying to swatch people. I'm getting used to it. Okay, this one is a full, full size. When I saw this in the bag that she gave me, I was shook it. Shook it. Because it's a Morphe palette. We all know how I feel about my Morphe palette. So to see another Morphe palette, I was like, oh my gosh, okay. Um, this goes so well too with mine. It's the, excuse me, Fall into Frost 35F. Um, so it's very, there's got, we've got matte shades here, but then the rest of them are glittery, metallic-y, shimmery, just gorgeous, ready for fall. I'm living every second for it. I can't wait to try this, especially getting into fall. If Missouri, we just hurry up with the cooler weather. Because who doesn't love a good smoky eye with a chunky sweater, jeans, and some cute boots? I don't know anybody who doesn't like that. Then, I got the Cover FX Glitter Drops. And I put this on... <laughs> Um, I just like put a drop on my hand just to see what it would do and it feels great but it's it's like like I'm ready to go to a club I'm very I'm living for that though so hopefully I can find an excuse to wear this <laughs> somewhere I don't know where yet but we're gonna figure it out and to go with that I have the ColourPop um, loose glitter in got a jet. I'm not going to open that because I opened it the other day and I looked like I got into a fight with a stripper. So, um, I'm not going to open it because <laughs> once glitter's out there, you can't put it back. And I'm just not in the mood for that. Okay. While we're on products, I got a couple of new things. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, this is just a, a magnetic luminous eye color from nude nude sticks in copper foil so she's very pretty again I don't know why I'd wear that but I, I think it would go pair really well with this palette yeah um since we're on new products I got a couple of new things I am sweating so bad um, I have a mirror right here, by the way. Um, I got a couple of new products lately, or some products that I hadn't purchased in a while. But one of them is the Makeup Revolution. We all know how I feel. I stand Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution, this is not sponsored. But, um, if you want to, I love you, too. Which I think I love you the mostest. Um, Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. This is amazing stuff. Um, I got it on a sale. Um, I got this and the um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which Jeffree Star has talked about this one, I do believe, and he has raved about it. I tried it. It's incredible too. Um, this is medium to full coverage foundation. Um, so I do, I kind of, I tend to layer it on or I mix it with my NYX Born to Glow foundation because this is pretty light. Um, and so if I put them together, it kind of gives me a little extra glow plus the coverage that I'm wanting and I don't have to layer it on. So 
those are my two two newer products that I've bought lately that I am obsessed with. Um, so that's today's video. I know it was pretty quick, but I just wanted to get something out there. I wanted to get something up. I was missing it. Um, let me know what you want to see. Uh, I want to hear from you. Um, what kind of looks you would want me to do, especially with all this new stuff. Um, any new products that you want me to try, or maybe there's some weird products that you want me to try. Please, please, please let me know. Send me a message. Um, leave a comment. Like, subscribe. This like and subscribe <laughs> like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe below um, follow me along on my other social medias I have my Instagram and uh, my Twitter I'll post that and um, I'll see you guys next time bye uh, future editing Paula um, I forgot one uh, it is the Tart Rainforest of the Sea volume 3 palette, eyeshadow palette. <gasps> Isn't she pretty? I love it. Uh, I never used a Tarte product before. This is my first one and I gotta say I approve. I think I'll be investing in some more Tarte products so I wanted to make sure to include her.